What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and today we're going to be talking about one of the best money making methods in the game which is catching dittos and I'm going to be showing you my method of doing it. I know other YouTubers have made videos in the past explaining this before and doing their own methods but this is my method and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. The first thing to note on PokeMMO is that breeding on this game is completely different from the original games. On the original games you would be able to give the breeder two parents and it would constantly sprout eggs and you could you know get loads of RNG from eggs etc. On PokeMMO the parents are actually consumed and the IVs are basically chosen between both parents. For I'll just show you now as an example of how that works. So as you can see here we're going to put the Smurgle in and the Ditto and it'll come out of Smurgle and you, you can see in the middle the IVs choose between the both parents. They'll always be between both parents. We're not going to click breed now, this is just an example of how the breeding works. Once you click breed, both parents will 100% be consumed and you will not get them back. You will only have the egg for this new Smurgle for example. Now the gender is extremely important when breeding stuff. So for example, we've got this male Smurgle here and again that is important because we've had to grab a ditto off the GTL. If for example, this Smurgle was a female, the egg that you get from the breeder is guaranteed to be a Smurgle no matter what the male parent is. So when you're breeding, say for example, this was a female Smurgle, we can check the Pokedex here and it will say just down here under egg group it is in the field egg group. So again, for example, if this Smurgle was a female 31 speed, we could breed that now with a field male. So for example, we can go to the GTL at the bottom here, click on advanced search, egg group, and change this to field, and we want the gender to be male, and we'll search. Obviously, we want it to be a certain IV. We'll grab a 31 attack down here. You just pick minimum attack 31. And you'll see the lowest male field, we're just going to go to lowest price, is 5,800 on the market. Obviously, before you do this, before you just straight away buy this, you also want to just check like what dittos are with 31 attack. As you can see, dittos would in fact be cheaper because they are 5,000 on the market for an attack of 31. Anyway. If it was female, like I said, you could go for the field. If it was cheaper, you could go that way instead of buying a ditto. But because it's male, the egg is never guaranteed to be the male unless you get a ditto to transform and it'll be male. I hope that was easy enough to understand. Now we're going to move on to trying to keep the IVs whilst breeding. If you go in any breeding center, I will now bring on screen where every breeding center is. So in Kanto, it is on Four Island as we are doing in the video. In Hoenn, it's on Route 17, just left of Malville. In Sinnoh, it's in Salation Town. In Unova, it's in Route 3, which is like super early game. But the only problem with this is there's always loads of people here. Even on Channel 4 right now, it is like got quite a few people. If you're on Channel 1, you are not going to see anything. There's just people everywhere. So I would not recommend this area, but this is where it is in Unova. Now back on Peaceful Four Island, this is where I like to go as it's like just super chill over here. It's not normally raining by the way, but it is usually super chill over here, there's not loads of people here. And this is one of my favourite places to go because I do like Kanto and a lot of people in the Discord usually like a lot of help in Kanto. So it's just easy to travel without going to different regions. Anyway, I digress. When you walk into these places, every place will have a lady here who will be, you know, of assistance. And they'll say that you, you can buy, you know, power, weight, bracelet, belt, lens, band, anklet. So if you click on these, you'll notice that they actually inherit the Pokemon special attack, defense, attack, HP, all that kind of stuff. And the last one on here is the ability pill. Say, for instance, I didn't like Smurgle's, uh, what was that, technician. I could use the ability pill and it would change it to, I believe it's called own tempo. Or we'll check the Pokedex. If you check the Pokedex, you'll see that the abilities are here and they're just own tempo and technician so yeah if I had technician again and I used the ability pill it costs 35,000 but you can use the ability pill and it changes to you the own tempo so anyways to make our perfect smurgle here to start off with we want the 31 speed and we want the 31 attack so what we'll do is we'll need the power bracer because it keeps the attack so we'll buy one of those and we want to keep the speed as well so we'll buy the power anklet which does speed we'll buy one of those so that costs 20k poke yen if you open the bag, obviously I already had these, I just bought them for the video, but uh, we're just going to put them on now. 
So again, the anchor will be the speed, so you can just drag it on your mon, or you can click on the mon and add an item here and then find it. But obviously, I like to just look at this because the red, I know all the colors and what they mean. So here we go with the attack. We'll keep that on the ditto. And like I said, those two are in our party currently. And now we'll go to the actual breeding guy. Now we're actually at the breeding guy and he's asking for the Pokemon we want to put in. We're going to put in that Smurgle and the Ditto and you'll see that it absolutely keeps the 31 no matter what. And the 31 again on the speed is 100% and then it's just going to gamble the points between the other ones that we don't want. So we're going to go ahead and click breed. We're going to go yes. Now we'll let you select your own gender. Now just remember if you pick female that means you can then breed again this Smurgle for example. It will turn into a Smurgle. If you want to make it a female you can carry on that breed constantly without needing a ditto you can use its own egg group in this case though we actually don't want a specific gender so we're going to click no and then it will give you an egg and it'll ask you to put it in a pokeball so we'll say yes we want this and we're actually going to put it in a luxury ball as that is my favorite pokeball in the game and it'll say to take care of it and you'll see the egg here and now the parents are completely consumed as i've mentioned before the parents are completely gone now so we can get rid of these and we just have the egg so for those of you who do not know, the eggs actually hatch over time. You do not need to walk around or do anything of the sort, you just need to wait. Now, if you go to your PC or if you go to the GTL to buy a Mon specifically for this, you'll need a Mon, you don't absolutely need it, but it's definitely noted that you can get a Mon with the ability of Flame Body. If you have Flame Body, don't worry about the in-battle effects like touching it may cause the burn or whatever, it actually has an effect that when it's in front of your party you have an outer battle experience which is called flame body obviously up here you can see and you hover over and it'll say the eggs will now hatch faster again this is just a time based thing you don't need to walk around at all we're just going to wait for this egg to hatch and blamo the smuggle has hatched so as you can see it's came out female so we can actually rebreed it with an egg group instead of using dittos again the egg group is going to be way cheaper like later on the more ivs you add on the egg groups are way cheaper than ivs from just dittos so it is way better to get females if you want to keep that breed but as you can see it came up with the 31 attack the 31 speed and the rest of the stats don't really matter it's nice to have like extra hp etc but the first things we're going to need to do is EV train the Smurgle and also get it some good levels. We're going to go for the attack EVs, obviously, uh, which we're going to have to like summon hordes of Nidorino in Route 15. And then we're going to do speed, which means we're going to have to summon hordes of Pidgeotto on Island 5. You can now put away the Mon with Flame Body as well, as that's not needed. That was literally just to help hatch the egg quicker. The best place to EV train speed in Kanto is on 5 Isle against a massive horde of Pidgeotos. The best place for speed EVs in Hoenn is in Route 121 against a horde of Linoon. The best place for speed EVs in Sinnoh is Route 225 and you can go against either Fero or Raticate hordes. The best place for speed EVs in Unova is a horde of Rapidash in Route 12. The best place in Hoenn for attack is a horde of Mycenas in Route 120. The best place for attack in Sinnoh is in Route 211 against a horde of Machoke. The best spot in Unova for the attack EVs is actually in Route 10 against a Bufalant horde. Make sure you go to the first end of Route 10, not the second end, otherwise you'll find a Moongus instead of a Bufalant. All right, we're back, and as you can see, our speed is 252, and so is our attack, and the last six points you can put in whatever, but I've put it in HP. It is also level 51. And we actually managed to get to level 51 without using any EXP charms or anything. We actually just went for the EVs. Now comes one of the best and worst moments about getting a Smurgle like this, is that you're going to have to get the correct moveset for it. For me personally, and I'm going to tell you right now before we start, we're going for Payday, Substitute, Spore, and False Swipe. To put Substitute on our Smurgle, we're actually going to use our True Swiper, which is our Breloom, who already has Substitute, and we're going to make ourselves Substitute as many times as possible to get our health low as possible so that we can no longer use Substitute. Now, in order to get Payday on our Smurgle, we actually have our Bite Coin here, which is our Meowth, and he has Payday, so we're going to use this in a double battle. Now, you can go against another Smurgle, use Payday, let the Smurgle sketch it, use Payday against you, and you sketch it, 
Or you could go against like, you know, a Ditto who transforms into you, who could use Payday on you and then you sketch it, etc. But today we're going to be doing a new trick, which is basically going into Unova against these double battle grass pieces. You could also do this by rebattling any double battle in the game in any region. But we're going to be using this grass, for example, and I'll show you how that works. So as you can see, it's chucked us straight into a double battle and we've sent out our original Smurgle who only has sketch and our Meowth who has other moves but mainly Payday. So obviously we're going to use Sketch on our own Meowth and we're going to use Meowth and use Payday on an enemy. So Bitecoin will use Payday on Pidove and kill Pidove. Very slowly, may I just add. After that, coins are scattered everywhere, blah blah blah, Smuggle gained XP, Bitecoin and XP, and then we'll Sketch the Payday off our own Meowth there. And as you can see, now our Smuggle here will now have Payday. We're just going to use Payday back on the Patrat. We use Payday from both, it doesn't matter who goes first. We just want to clear this fight. As you can see, our Smurgle now has Payday and no other moves. Now we can go to the Pokemon Center and speak to the guy with the grey hair and relearn Sketch to get the rest of the moves that we need. The easiest way for me to do that is to go to Nacreen City and then go straight into the Pokemon Center and you'll see the guy at the top right with the grey hair. And you can he's the move mechanic so you can learn forgotten moves. We're going to click on our Smurgle here and relearn Sketch, which needs two heart scales. And again, if you don't know where to get heart scales, I did in my previous video, I showed you exactly how to do that. If you missed out on that, there will be a link in the description, don't forget. So we're just going to relearn that and get our heart scales there. And now we know Sketch again. As you can see in our moves, we've got Payday and now Sketch. Alright guys, as you can see, we've managed to make our Breloom literally free HP by using four substitutes in a row in random fights and then running away. So now all we need to do now is find a double battle with our Smurgle and this Breloom out. And again, this substitute shouldn't work, but it would still count as being used. And our Smurgle will be able to sketch the substitute from our Breloom. So here we go, our first double battle encounter for quite a while now. But you'll notice we'll send out our Smurgle and our True Swiper. Now we've got to pray that there's no quick attack that just instantly kills our Breloom because that would really suck. But we're going to go ahead and sketch our Breloom and our Breloom is going to try and attempt to use uh, Substitute on itself. So as you go, Substitute but it failed. It was too weak to make a Substitute but our Smurgle can now sketch it. And now you'll notice our Smurgle actually has Payday and Substitute now. This is how you get Substitute on your Mon, on your Smurgle to sketch it. And that is the one of the key things for catching a Ditto later on. We can now run away and don't worry about running away, you do still keep your moves. We're now just going to fly back, make sure we heal and make sure we also get another sketch from the grey haired man at the top for our Smurgle to get the other moves. Alright guys, we're going to be basically doing the same thing as what we did with this Substitute. We've now got our Breloom back with its Toxic Orb so it can heal. But we're going to be trying to copy over False Swipe and also Spore, obviously separately because you can only learn one sketch at a time. But we do False Swipe and we will do Spore in these double battles again. Ah, we finally found a double battle. The RNG for these double battles is actually way lower than I thought it was going to be. The amount of single fights you have in here in comparison to double fights is unbelievable. Anyway, as a Smurgle, we're going to sketch our Breloom, and as Breloom, we are going to false swipe one of the enemies. Purloin did use Fake Out on us, but that is absolutely fine, because luckily he hit Smurgle, so Smurgle flinched and couldn't move and didn't use that one PP. So that's still fine, that doesn't really matter. If he would have hit True Swiper and stopped Swiper from using a move, that would have been actually kind of bad. But we're just going to once again try to use Sketch again on Breloom, and Breloom use False Swipe on maybe the Blitzel this time. There we go, so he's false swiped, obviously he can't fake out again, so we're going to sketch. And now our Smurgle now knows Payday, Substitute and False Swipe. The only thing left for Smurgle to get now is Spore. Oh, we actually found a double battle straight away this time. And what I've done this time genuinely is put my Luxray up front with the Swiper. I figured that Pur Purloin's going to pretty much fake out every single time. So we're just going to use our Luxray to switch in to the Smurgle that we want to like sketch. And Breloom can just, I guess, false swipe on anybody right now. But just in case the Purloin wants to use fake out, we don't want to chance Smurgle not getting the attack off. It looks like Smur uh, the Purloin sorry, isn't even going to use it this time, but just the idea that it would use it was enough to make me switch out. Now our Smurgle's out and we can sketch our Breloom, and our Breloom is going to use Spore on any of the enemies. There you go, Swiper has now used Spore on the Purloin, and now our little Smurgle here should sketch it. 
like so. And now there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is the perfect Smurgle for the Ditto hunting. You could also use this for like Dratini hunting and stuff, but Ditto specifically, and I'll explain why now. In Univer, the big mall is in Route 9. Floor number 2 is what you'll be looking for, as that's the person who sells all the custom Pokeballs. For instance, we can find our Dusk Balls here, and Repeat Balls. Now, Repeat Balls are really good for catching stuff that you already have, and they were one of the best methods for catching Dittos previously, but they now cost 1,500 each, and the Dusk Balls are 1,350 each. And obviously, when Dittos are in a dark cave, the Dusk Balls are the absolute best way to go about it. In Sinnoh, the big mall is in Vilestone City, and it's literally the first counter on the left. You can speak to the lady there, and they will have all the balls that you need as well. Now, both Kanto and Hoenn both have huge shopping malls. However, the disappointment is that they don't actually sell those Pokeballs in the mart, so you can only get them in Sinnoh and Unova. Alright, so we're back and we've leveled our Smurgle a little bit more, and there's a couple of things to note down. So first of all, his ability Technician is really really good because if a move has a power of 60 or less, it goes up by 50%. And good, good news for us, the False Swipe is 40 power and 100 accuracy, and the Payday is also 40 power and 100 accuracy. So not only do they have Stab, they have the Technician ability on top of that as well. Usually you would put like a silk scarf on this to guarantee massive damage, but we're going to go with leftovers specifically because we have substitute. Now with all this in mind, we're actually going to use the PP Max on every move that we have here on our Smurgle. For instance, like Payday, PP Max, or Swipe, PP Max, and then Spore, PP Max, and then we're going to do our last one, which is Substitute, PP Max. You'll notice that we have loads of PP in all of our moves now. Now the general idea is, this is Ditto Cave. This is where a lot of people come to either shiny hunt Dittos or just again hunt Dittos and make a good amount of money. We're obviously putting our Smurgle up front and we have the Payday up front ready to smack anyone that isn't a Ditto because sometimes there's a Loudred in here etc and you can just Payday them and move on and make the money from Payday. But here is where the magic happens. We find a Ditto and here's where we use Substitute and here's exactly why we have Substitute. It does take a bit of damage, hence why we've put leftovers on our Smurgle so it can constantly get HP back. But when you, you just notice there, Ditto tried to transform into us, but because we've got the substitute, he literally cannot transform into us, and all he can do is spam transform the entire time he's here. So we can take our sweet time false swiping, sporing, and all that sort of thing and trying to catch it, and it can do nothing to us at all. And if anything, the longer we take to do our moves like false swipe and then use our spore to make it go to sleep, we are almost pretty much full HP because of leftovers as well. Once again, he can't do nothing about us at all. If he wakes up, he still can't transform into us, etc. He can do literally nothing. Obviously, when you've got him super low and he's sleeping, you want to go ahead and use your Dusk Balls or your Repeat Balls, or even some people say that Great Balls are great as well for the catching dose. Personally, we're going to go with Dusk Ball. And there we have it, ladies and gents. We caught the Ditto, and we'll see what it is now, and I'll tell you more about the Dittos now. So, we've caught this Ditto, and you look at the IV straight away, you'll notice this is nicknamed, and I excuse my language here, a Shitto. The idea here is to catch as many of these as possible to cover an entire box, and then what you want to do is either go to your chat down here into trade and say that you know, you're trying to want to sell, or WTS, a Ditto box, or you'll see people saying WTB, which is want to buy Ditto boxes, or you could even jump in the official Pokemon Mode Discord and go into the trade tabs and say that you want to either buy or sell Ditto boxes. You would fill an entire box full of absolute terrible dittos and sell them onwards. If you don't fancy like collecting them like that and then selling them like that, you could just go to the global trade and just put a ditto up. And you'll notice that the lowest dittos with like no good IVs at all is around 4k, just a bit more. And the reason for this is people who like to egg shiny hunt need dittos most of the time if it's like a male like dominant species. So they'll be using these terrible dittos no matter what. If you've got really good IVs, if you've got some 31 IVs, they are way more in price. Let's say for example we found a ditto and it has 31 special attack, it will obviously sell way better. Obviously I say way better, it's only about 1000 more, but imagine catching these constantly. And again, using the Smurgle, it ended up having literally full HP by the time we caught it because of the leftovers. And you can just substitute and the ditto can do nothing about it. I'll just quickly show you an example when you don't find a ditto though. 
So here we go, we found ourselves a Wisma randomly in this cave. This actually took a while because dittos were constantly popping up, but sometimes there is non-dittos here, and you can just go ahead and use Payday, and you should get a nice chunk of money from killing that. It should one-shot if you've got some good, again, IVs, EVs, and extras. There you go, we picked up $430 from that. The reason is, if it's level 43, you'll get $430. It usually adds a zero onto whatever the level is of the enemy mon. There you go, there's a prime example of that. So there you have it, ladies and gents. That's the perfect Smurgle for catching specifically dittos. You could use it to catch everything else as well, but people would like to have stuff like soak instead of uh, substitute, etc. So you could hit ghost types if you're trying to catch other kind of mons. Specifically, this is to catch dittos perfectly. Like you can just use substitute so it cannot transform into you. And that's kind of the whole play. And then payday for anything that isn't the ditto to instantly kill them. False type is for obviously to help catch. But this is, in my opinion, the absolute best method. If you run out of substitute whilst you're in there, you could either use leper berries or you can just teleport out and heal and then come back and then you could good, you're good to go again. I guess there's only one thing left to do in this video and that's to nickname the Smurgle. Bob Ross, baby. That's the play. Bob Ross. I don't even care about his female, all right? Bob Ross it is. So once again, the e uh, the IVs are 31 attack, 31 speed. EVs I put all into attack and speed, and again, the last bits don't really matter. And again, Payday, Substitute, False Swipe, and Spore are the best moves, in my opinion, to catch the dittos. And obviously, you can use whatever balls you want. I would recommend either Great Balls, Dusk Balls, or Repeat Balls, or even Quick Balls if you just want to lob a ball and not use a Smurgle at all. But in my opinion, that is the best method. I will possibly on stream at some point test how much money we really make in like an hour of doing it. What we'll do is like three hours of doing it so we can get like a middle ground of how much money you can actually make from this. But you can honestly make some really, really good money from this. This is just one of many money making methods. If you want to see the rest of them, please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative so that you can crack on with your own Bob Ross and make your own good amount of money. But yeah, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on another video. Goodbye. Like what's up, boys? Souls are, they're basically, what's up, Darku? We're talking about Darku. Warhammer stuff. Uh, I'm literally making a video right now. I'm just wondering if you can help me real quick. Like two seconds oh. of your reading time. Yeah. Can you see it in the general chat now? General. It's like Celassian town. Is that correct? Like, how do you say that? Celassian. Yeah. Celassian. Yeah, Celassian is the only thing that makes sense to me, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think it'll be a Celakian, you know. Yeah, Celassian. Maybe, but oh, yeah, there's one. But... Like... <laughs> Celassian. It's just instead of going law, you Yeah, I like a... that. Salacion. Yeah, sure, I'll go with that. Alright. Thanks, boys. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Much love. Yeah. Salacion. 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 Right, right, right. <laughs> sounds pretty cool. Even if I'm wrong, that sounds cool. Salacion. Alright, yeah, cheers, boys. Right. Appreciate it. Later. See ya. See ya.